Hello, welcome to online tutorial of WorkFusion RPA Express created by Tilak Patil. In this lesson we will learn some basics about RPA and WorkFusion RPA Express components. Robotic Process Automation RPA, is the application of technology that allows configuration of software or a robot to capture and interpret existing applications for processing a transaction, manipulating data, triggering responses and communicating with other digital systems. In RPA, any repetitive process can be recorded and can be performed using a robot. WorkFusion RPA Express is one of the software which provide automation solution to most of the business requirements. 1. So let's have a quick look on RPA components. 2. Open WorkFusion application. Click on WorkFusion icon on your desktop. You can see a orange feather shape icon on your taskbar. After clicking on that icon, you can see a desktop partition open displaying following options, open platform monitor, open RPA recorder, open S3 file storage, control tower, open bot manager, OCR. RPA recorder is the area where we are going to record and configure our business flow. In order to run any program a process handler a commonly known as robot is required. So make sure that before clicking on Open RPA Recorder, Open Bot Manager should be in running a start stage, otherwise while running the recoding, system will give error, unable to connect robot. Now click on the Open RPA Recoder. To view Project Explorer, if it is not already opened, click on Windows from Toolbar, click on Show View, now click on Others. Type Project Explorer, press Enter. You can set Project Explorer now. To start recording, click on RPA Recorder from Toolbar, and click on Start New Recorder. A pop-up will ask for name to be given to recoding, click on OK. Now the RPA will record operation like mouse click key stalks that you performs on desktop. To stop recording, click on Stop button shown at extreme bottom right. In RPA Recorder window, you can see the actions recorded by the robot. We will see in our next lesson, how to record a action flow, how to configure it so that it will run on any system, and how to run the recording. Comment down suggestions if any. Goodbye and have a nice day.